What's going on everybody? Cigar Show Tim here and I've got frankly a little bit of information to give to all of you about something I was made aware of literally today. Title kind of says a little bit about what I was made aware of. Yeah, that title there. Why would I put it there? So, kind of learned something about myself today. It's true, I did. No, all, all joking aside, um, I had a good conversation, uh, and we gave each other our opinions, our thoughts, our take on different things, perceptions, uh, but we had dialogue, and we were able to talk uh, and share each other's position. Uh, and I won't share who it was that I had a conversation with, but it's a fellow content creator. And he let me know that when I did the Why Bother Reviewing Cigars, the video where I talked about the different qualities of cameras and audio and all of that, which I just learned also that evidently Pick Jimmy did a video about that in response to it. I hadn't watched it before. I just watched it right now. Um, that evidently I come off as quite the, uh, quite the pompous jerk. Put it bluntly. That's blunt for me. I don't swear. But uh, yeah, evidently when I make videos like that or when I made another one recently, um, just talking about challenging, challenging yourself to do better and to innovate and to do all those different things uh, that uh, evidently to some people, and I'm not making fun of them at all. I'm saying this genuinely. Evidently to some people, I tend to come across as though I'm a bit of an elitist because of the uh, equipment that I own and because of the quality in which I um, hold myself to when it comes to my content. Now, what do I mean by that? I've spent 20 plus years in the event and hospitality industry. Um, I talked about that in my TPE recap video where I hold myself to a very, very high standard. I did two cameras back, gosh, nearly two years ago on my channel a little bit after starting and because I wasn't happy with the way it looked I stopped doing two cameras but I'm doing it now because obviously camera one camera two and uh, I hold myself to such a high standard that uh, it was presented to me um, by this person uh, who again it, it doesn't matter who it is I appreciate their input and I appreciate what they said and I let them know that uh, that um, apparently me talking about that comes across as though uh, unless you're at the level that I'm at, you suck. I'm translating it. I'm not saying it the way that he did. Uh, but basically, unless you have expensive microphones or multiple cameras or a studio or whatever it is, that basically you shouldn't be creating content. And uh, I can understand how that perception came about. I absolutely can. Now, I'm not going to apologize for what I said in the video because at that time, that's how I felt. And in many ways, I still feel that way, but I'm gonna put a caveat on it now. The caveat is, uh, and I did it in another video uh, that wasn't the TPE one, but it was another one where I talked about, um, be proud of, of what you're putting out. Be proud of the quality. Be proud of what you're showing to everybody on YouTube. And look, I had people call me out on the why bother video. And one guy in particular in the comments said, hello, you're a hypocrite. Look at your first videos. They sucked. They look terrible, which I said, you're absolutely right, which proves that I've pushed myself, which shows that I've pushed myself. Um, but I wasn't understanding and didn't know that me sharing those opinions, um, whether it was an open-ended question of like, why bother, uh, came across as more of a condescending like, <laughs> why bother, you suck, get lost. And so, yeah, I just wanted to share that I didn't realize that that's how it was coming across. So here's what I'm going to say now. I'm working on my content. Everybody works to improve. And whether you're working to improve the quality of your content, you're working to improve the quality of your content. Maybe that's how you present yourself on camera. Maybe it's how you have quality of a video camera or of a microphone or of lighting or of whatever it is. You're always looking to improve. And if you aren't looking to improve and you're happy with it, good on you. There's nothing wrong with that. That's why I said in the Why Bother video, 
If you just want this to be a diary and people happen to watch it, great. There's nothing wrong with that at all. But the caveat is just that. We should always be improving. And whether improving is ourself, our equipment, our editing skills, camera angles, whatever it is, seek to improve. And even if you don't have a visible or tangible improvement on your channel that people can see, chances are you're watching other content and you're taking notes. And I don't mean actually taking notes. I mean you're making observations. That's still improving yourself. I watch tons of different channels. And I'll be honest, a big motivating factor for me to want to improve my video and audio and all of that is Jeremy Sires. 100% is Jeremy Sires because of the way that he presents what he does. Now, I'm not expecting or wanting or desiring to get to half a million subscribers or, I mean, even 10% of that. I have no desire. It's not going to happen. And I'm okay with that. This is a fun hobby for me. And I was made aware that my fun hobby and the way that I hold myself to quality standards, um, what I define as excellence, not what everybody defines as excellence, but what I have defined to myself as excellence um, has bled over. And so um, I figured I would make this video and let you all know that I was made aware today that frankly, in those videos, I came across as a jerk. And I say that from that other person's perspective, fully respecting it, fully understanding it. He and I talked for quite a while tonight, chatting back and forth. Uh, and he shared his opinions. I shared mine. We didn't always agree, but it didn't mean that we were going to um, never speak again or that we were not going to, um, you know, we were going to trash talk each other, nothing like that at all. Um, full transparency. I had people read the comments and asked them, people that I know that are, you know, within the content creator realm, you know, is this really like, am I off on this? Uh, and, you know, people will say, oh, well, you, you checked with, you know, the people that, you know, would side with you and say yes and all that. And that's a fair statement. Um, but there were people that responded and said, just like you have your opinion, they're entitled to theirs also. And they're not wrong. They're hundred percent correct. So that's all. Just wanted to come on here and let you know what I learned tonight. And learning is part of educating, which is part of improving, which hopefully improves things for my channel. And I'm not talking about subscriberships. This person said that I drove away a lot of uh, newer content creators and subscribers and engagement went down and all those different things uh, after that content was posted. I can respect that opinion. I can understand his, his take on it. Um, we've been creating content roughly about the same amount of time from when I started my channel. I'll hit three years in June, technically, I think, is when I'll hit three years of having specifically my channel. Um, and he said he's been around it for roughly the same amount of time. Um, his channel, admittedly, is twice the size of mine. He has a really good community of uh, other content creators that uh, some people like and some people don't. But they lift each other up. And it's a very smart formula for them to do that. Uh, it has worked very well for them. And um, they all have their own unique style. Um, they just do. And I, as I told this person, I think it was a smart move. I think it's done very, very well for all four of you um, for you to network and to lift each other up. Well done. And he goes, well, you know, I, what do you want out of this? And I said, it's a hobby. It's a fun thing. And I'm sharing my journey. Never been about the numbers. I've never sat here and gone, I have to get to this amount or, you know, I'm just not doing well enough. It's never been about that for me. Do I enjoy engaging with people? Because he asked that as a follow-up question. Well, then, you know, what about, you know, comments and this and that? Don't you want that? And I said, yeah, of course I want to engage with people. Of course I want to have communications and, you know, discussions and things like that. Um, absolutely. That's a fun part of it. But I'm not driven to uh, get to 10,000, 15,000, 50,000 subscribers and monetize and sell, you know, advertising space here on my channel and do that other, uh, not that other, but those other ways of monetizing the channel. It's a fun hobby for me and I absolutely enjoy it. I've gotten to meet some amazing, incredible people. And as I told the person today, I appreciate you letting me know where you stand. We may not see eye to eye, but I appreciate it because I do. It's still input. 
And I hope by the end of the conversation, that person was able to understand that um, hopefully I don't come across as this elitist, pompous jerk uh, that thinks he's better than everybody because of equipment he has. Um, but I hope he understands more of why I hold myself to the level that I do. Um, and it's because of my conditioning. It's because of my background. It's not his fault. That's just how I am. That's how I choose to be. In the same way that other content creators are the way that they are. Some of them are very polarizing. Some of them are, you know, the guy next door that's just always there willing to help and the nicest guy in the world. And you get everything in between. But that's what the SCAR community is about. It's not about tearing each other down. It's not about um, trying to persuade people to not watch somebody else. Um, and I'm not saying that Jimmy did that in his video. He was giving his opinion in response to my video. So I'm not calling him out on that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to get on here and share all of that with all of you. So put some, some comments down below. I don't want this to turn into, uh, oh, how dare that person do that? Or, oh, that guy's an idiot. I, I don't want that at all. <clears throat> if anything, this video's intention is to be the opposite of that, is to be, people have their different opinions. People can get rubbed the wrong way on both sides. It's bound to happen from time to time, but it's how we work through it that makes it better. It's how we communicate through those challenges that makes the result of our differing opinions that much more meaningful because we can respect them in each other. We can respect each other's opinions. We can respect each other's positions and why they have those positions. So I don't want to turn it into a debate back and forth of like, oh, this guy, and oh, that person, and this and that. And I'm not looking at that at all. If it is, I'll just turn off the comments. Plain and simple. But maybe you learned something in this video. I know today I did. And at times it was frustrating because it was hard to hear. And he was trying to share in a way that let me know he was trying to call it the way he and, according to him, others see it. He was well within his rights to do that. I didn't shut him up. I didn't say, no, you're wrong. I didn't ever call him out and say, you're making all this up. Because there's no point in doing that. That only makes it worse. The goal was to make this better. And from my position, my opinion, I think it was made better because um, we were able to understand each other's position, whether we agreed with it or not. There were times he didn't agree with me. There were times that I didn't agree with him. Again, it's bound to happen. But by the end of the conversation, it was, hey, take care. Peace. Have a good one. And we went on our way. But we were able to talk it out. Instead of have this, oh, this person versus that person, and now there's drama, and are you team this person or team that person? None of that belongs here. It really doesn't. It does not belong here. We brag in the cigar industry about being the community that supports one another and the brothers of the leaf and the sisters of the leaf. So my goal with today, after I learned this information, was to see if I could talk with that person and understand his perspective better, explain where I was coming from, whether he agreed with it or not. That's not up to me. That's up to him to decide but at least he understands where I was coming from. And we were able to talk it out like mature adults. He called it like he saw it. I called it like I saw it. But leave some comments. That's it. I'm going to get out of here. So yeah, I guess in, in closing, don't be afraid to talk to people. Don't be afraid to admit that their perspective, whether you agree with it or not, is still valid. They have their feelings for a reason. So, as I say every time and have for a long time on my channel, enjoy your cigar journey, everybody. I'm Cigar Show Tim. As always, I'll see you.